welcome and welcome back to my channel it's Ruby here and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys my top 10 favorite records before we get started into this video you may or may not have noticed but I have dyed my hair yet again I have nothing else to say this top 10 is not based on this album my favorite this one's not my favorite it's based on the quality of the record the presentation the record sleeve if it comes with extras stuff like that so yeah let's go coming in at 10 we have prism by katie perry the reason why this is 10 is because it's a limited edition picture disc and i think it's so cool it sees literally on every single disc and there's different images in every single one. I think that's really cool. Coming in at number nine, we have Ariana Grande and her Sweetener album. Because I love the artwork of this album. Not only the cover, it's actually beautiful. She looks beautiful. But this artwork is also actually beautiful. Just look at look at all of these. Look at them. Oh, is it hot in here or is it just you, Miss Ariana? Coming in at number eight, we have, as my parents call him, Neil Horace. As most people know him, Niall Horan. <laughs> this is eight because not only am I obsessed with this album at the moment, but it comes with a lot of extras. Firstly, these two little poster paper things, which basically have all the lyrics of all of his songs in this album. And also two posters. This one, that's from the album cover photo shoot. And this one. Coming in at number seven, we have miss camila cabello the reason for this is because the album cover is beautiful this picture beautiful this record sleeve is just i just love the way she's done this i haven't really seen many like this and also the record is a lovely vibrant red color next we have miss eilish of billy yes you know her you love her billy eilish eyelash the reason for this is because I still, to this day, I'm obsessed with this album cover. It's creepy, it's cool, I like the way it opens, even though there's only one record in there. I always like records that open more than, than the ones that don't. I don't know why I do It just be like that. And I have never seen records of this colour, which is why it's so far up in the list. Because I love this colour. I love it. Coming in at numero cinco, we have Harold Edward Styles. Has this position been heavily influenced because he is who he is? Maybe, maybe not. You never you know. Never know. <laughs> so, you know the album cover is like fish eye type thing, so it looks like that. I love how when you open it, you get two more like that. Not only is the record an amazing, beautiful, outstanding splatter, it comes with an extra, it comes with a poster. Does the poster scare me? Tell me, does it not scare you? But it's Harry Styles, so we let him off. Coming in at number four, we have Melanie Martinez's K-12 album. The album cover is amazing, and it has a crazy story behind it. You should go watch the K-12 movie on YouTube if you haven't already. I just, I love it. And I also love the fact that when you open it, it's a pop-up carrying the vinyl record sleeve whatever you call it mostly it's just white but in the k12 album you see little angel faces and i just love that detail i think it's so cute oh a beautiful beautiful pastel pink it comes with an extra what extra you may ask a book <gasps> and then you get the writing of the songs and also pictures from the movie next we have miss Ariana grande once again coming out and killing it my everything this is beautiful it just goes with like this whole design just goes with the vibe of the album and i'm here for it clear and lavender vinyl now this is the 2019 reissue sold on her website I don't know if it's still on sale. We have Dua Lipa and her first album. But you know why that might have influenced the position of this vinyl? She looks stunning. Not, not only is the record case beautiful, the vinyl itself is outstanding. 
a pink splatter thing. At number one place, we have Harry Styles. Once again, killing it. Why is this first place? Why not any of the other ones, you may ask? Well, not only is this a first pressing, exclusively sold on his web store, nowhere else in the world apart from dodgy sites. It is a limited edition white vinyl that somehow my dad got his hands on. But wait, wait, no, that's not all. Harold also made a booklet with it. And it comes with pictures and lyrics. Thank you, Dad, for getting your hands on lots of this stuff. I wouldn't have as many records as I do. I wouldn't have any records without you. So, a thousand thanks. Sunflower.